Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Navy, I'm gonna be doing a video response to Nava the Beast's I'm Not a Hero. In that video, Nava apologizes for a lot of remarks that he's made about other members of the military, other branches, and just other bits of unprofessional conduct that he's made in his videos. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed the video. It was very well done. I love the cinematography. I love the usage of B-roll that he puts in that video and it's just a good looking video. But in addition to that, I also really have to give Nava props for stepping up, taking responsibility for his actions, and hopefully he's learned a lesson from this and can continue to carry on smartly from here. One of the things that I have to take umbrage with is the response to his videos from other members of the military vlogging community. Now, I'm not gonna name names, but you know who they are. But a lot of them basically had the point of, if you're active duty, you shouldn't be making videos at all. And I'm gonna be the contrarian opinion here and say that I completely disagree. A little context on this, I made videos when I was in active duty Navy from 2010, 2015, and I realized that it's a different climate now, 2017, or whenever you're watching this video. A lot of people are more sensitive to certain subjects than back then, but as I said in my social media in the military, Life After Navy video, as long as you follow the social media instruction, as long as you continue to conduct yourself professionally, both on YouTube as well as other social media platforms, you'll be fine. And I know you've probably heard some horror stories from other people's chains of command talking about how oh, one of them found their videos and they had to take their channel down or the videos down or whatever the case. And I gotta be honest, I had some blowback initially when I first started doing Navy videos. I know there were some people who would say stuff like, dude, you gotta take those videos down. You can't be talking about the military. Oh my God, dude, you gotta take the videos down. What chain of command finds out? And I looked at my videos and I'm like, I'm not really doing anything wrong. I'm not saying anything out of line and that's when I decided to just make doubly sure that I was in compliance by finding the social media instruction. There's one that's for the Department of Defense and there's also one for each uh, specific branch that lays out a couple of branch specifics involving social media. I looked through the instruction, I just made sure all my videos were in compliance, I acted professionally online, and nobody said anything about it. In fact, I actually got some positive responses from my chain of command. I remember uh, when I first checked on board Kurtz, this one FC found my videos, spread them throughout the chain of command, like, oh my god, this guy does YouTube videos, uh, what an idiot, uh. Yeah, this is around 2012-ish, you know, YouTube wasn't really in in the cultural zeitgeist like it is now. So it was just looked at as this weird little hobby and people would jokingly say, oh, do you do like pornos and stuff like that? And I'm like, no, nah, it's not really the kind of thing I do. But when I got over to Lassen, it was about a year or so later and YouTube started getting a bit more mainstream. It received a lot of positive reactions. You know, some people from my division were kind of, eh, whatever. Then there was other people who found some of my videos and were like, oh, dude, that's so cool that you're doing this. In fact, when I was TA D, my divo found one of my videos. It was the Plaza Capcom tour video that I did when I was out in Yokosuka, and he really enjoyed it. He thought it was like so cool that I was doing videos like that. He didn't even know that there was a big giant arcade within Yokosuka. So he was like, dude, I gotta go check that out. I'm like, you do you, sir. <laughs> I always got this feeling that my captain knew that I did social media stuff, whether it was YouTube or Instagram or something like that, because I'd see him every once in a while. I, there was this one time during PT where he said, you should probably take a picture of that sunrise or something like that. I was like, okay, sir, no problem. It came so out of left field, I didn't really expect anything like that. It might've just been a whatever comment, I don't know, but I always got that feeling that, you know, El Capitan was watching my videos. So I kind of kept that in the back of my mind made sure I didn't do anything stupid and carried on smartly. And so if you are active duty military, you can do YouTube videos, you can do other social media platforms, but keep it professional, be consistent with your professionalism, don't shit where you eat. Kind of use the grandma rule as I called it. You know, if you show this video to your grandma or your captain, you know, would, would he or she be upset by it? And you'll be fine. I want to actively encourage active duty military members to make more vlogs and to show other sides, other perspectives of the military 
so that way we just get a wider perspective on the military as a whole because if you just go and watch one guy's videos or one girl's videos you only get their perspective people that want to go into the aviation side for example they may not want to watch my videos because i was surface side i don't really have that big of a perspective on the aviation side of the navy so you might want to go to like i don't know jt suits what a bam but in any event guys i want to encourage you to keep on making those videos act professional look at the social media instruction adhere to it and you'll be fine with that said guys this is the andy san Signing out for now from Andy Talks Navy HQ. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.